Hey there, Michelle Rubin here. We're going to do a series that I call Thoracic Park Series. It's designed to open up your neck, shoulders, and the middle of your back behind your rib cage. You can do this in a standing position, any seated position you like, or alternatively, as I'm showing it, for all you office workers, okay, you can sit in a chair. Ideally, you want to have your ankles directly below your knees, your knees directly in line with your hips, and you want to think about pushing your feet down into the floor for maximum benefits. Then taking your belly and feel like you're sucking your gut back as if you're going to get your picture taken and you didn't want your belly protruding. Trying to keep the feet pressing down and the stomach continually pulling in. We're going to take our fingers up to our shoulders and we're going to gently squeeze our shoulders as if we were checking to see if they were ripe oranges. Just a little gentle pressure. And then reaching the elbows as far away from you as you can. Let's start to make slow controlled circles. Really looking for maximum rotation here. Big as you can get them. Keep pulling the belly in, keep pushing your feet into the floor. And number one most important ingredient is deep breathing. Always remembering to listen to your body. If at any point you feel fatigued or tired, you just take a little break. You don't want to push too far. Slow controlled circles are best. And throughout this series, really paying attention to which of the poses are most challenging for you. Good information of where your body might need a little extra work. Let's change directions with those elbow circles. Going backwards, keep on breathing. The best way I know to open up the middle of your back, your thoracic spine, is through the elbows and the back of the skull. So making sure you're gently pushing your head back, trying to keep your ears over your shoulders as much as possible. Keep on breathing. And stopping with the elbow circles, let's have our elbows out level with the shoulders. Feel like you're pulling the elbows away from the armpits and gently squeezing the shoulders. With an exhalation, let's draw the elbows to one another and let's inhale to bring the elbows apart. Exhale, elbows to one another. Inhale, elbows apart. The idea here is to keep the torso from moving. There's a tendency that we want to arch the back and concave the back, but it's better to keep the back still, the torso still, so you can really get that stretch into the shoulders. Keep on breathing. Belly continues to pull in. Feet continue to push down. A lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Stopping with the elbows out, let's exhale to bring the elbows down, inhale to bring the elbows up. Exhale down, inhale up. Always using the breath in your practice as a bridge between the body and the mind. 100% of body healing requires oxygen. 100% of body functioning requires oxygen. So it only makes sense that the more oxygen you bring into your practice, the better your body's going to heal, the better your body's going to feel. Inhale, elbows up. Keep reaching the elbows away from you, trying to keep them at a shoulder's height. Still visualizing you're holding onto an orange or a coconut, some heavy piece of fruit. Let's inhale to bring the arms out. Let's exhale to bring the arms in. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, you're gonna feel like you wanna drop those elbows down, which is fine, but ideally to get maximum benefits, you wanna keep those elbows up with the shoulders. Staying connected with your hands by gently squeezing your fingertips. Feet keep pressing down, belly keeps pulling in. Beautiful work here. The only way that I know of to break up scar tissue is through heat and stretching. We're building heat here and we're continuing to stretch. That will break up the scar tissue. The only way that I know of to get rid of that scar tissue out of the body is through the breath. So allowing all those components to be present in your practice. 
Let's stop with an exhalation, fingers to shoulders, bring those elbows forward. Reach the elbows forward as the head and the shoulders push back. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Again, trying to keep the elbows up with the shoulders. Keep squeezing those imaginary coconuts in your fingertips. Beautiful breath. Remembering any time you need to stop and take a break is a good time. And when you're ready, let's stop with those arms at a 90 degree angle. Let's flip the palms to one another. Feel like you're pushing those forearms away as the head and the shoulders push back. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Ideally, those elbows are staying up with the shoulders, and ideally, the wrists are right above those elbows. Feel like you're karate chopping those forearms away from the body. Inhale to open, keep those elbows up nice and high. Exhale to bring the forearms down, inhale to bring the forearms up. Exhale, forearm down, inhale, forearms up. Squeeze the fingers together to get maximum benefits. You're almost there. Two more. And exhale to bring those arms down. Palms are up so the shoulders can fully relax. Shoulders are back so you can breathe freely into those shoulders. And with a nice big inhale, feel yourself breathing into the upper chest. Exhale to feel those shoulders sinking just a little bit. Big inhale. Big exhale. From here, just allowing the right ear to come down towards the right shoulder as the left elbow extends down towards the floor. Keep pulling your belly in, keep pushing your feet down into the earth, and exhale to drop your chin towards the shoulder. Inhale to bring your chin back up to center. Exhale to let the opposite ear come down. This time, right elbow reaches towards the floor. Beautiful breath. Smooth exhalation to rotate your chin towards the shoulder. Inhale to bring your chin back up to center. For those viewers who are 60 plus, you wanna just look up at the ceiling. For those of us that are under 60, let your head go straight back. Relax your jaw, lift up your throat. Inhale to bring your chin up to center slowly and exhale to drop your chin straight down to your chest. Keep on breathing. Inhale to bring your chin up to center. Let's exhale to turn and look over the right shoulder without twisting the body. And back to center. Let's slowly turn and look over the left shoulder.
them back to center. Let's take it a little deeper into that thoracic that we've warmed up by taking a twist. Let's take this right arm and bring it behind the chair. Let's take the left hand outside the right knee. Trying not to lean forward or overarch the back. Let's take a nice big inhale to lift the chest. Feet and belly push down. Sorry, feet push down, belly pulls in, seat pushes down. And nice and slow, we're going to twist and gaze behind us. Remember that the key ingredient to getting through the thoracic spine is the elbows, which we reach away, and the back of the skull, which we gently push back as we twist. Beautiful breaths here. This is not only a wonderful release for the neck and shoulders, but it's also fantastic for digestion. Nice and slow, let's unwind back to center and come into the other side. Let's take that left arm behind the chair, right hand reaching for the outside of the left leg. Nice big inhale, lift your chest, shoulders relax, tuck your chin, and with an exhalation begin that twist. No arching forward, elbows reach away from each other, chin tucks, and we gently push into the back of the skull. Just see if you can go a smidgen deeper. Relax your forehead, relax your jaw. And unwinding back to center slowly, shoulders back, heart center lifts, flip your palms, take a few deep breaths here. So now we're going to start working a little bit deeper into our legs, our hips, our ankles and our knees. So feet are still a short hips distance apart, ankles, knees and hips are in a nice straight line. We pull our belly in and we sit up as tall as we can with our shoulders back. Pushing the left foot into the floor, we're going to lift that right leg up. Exhaling to bring it down, inhaling to lift the left leg up. Exhale to bring it down. Right leg up, left leg up. Working with your breath. Ideally, you want to try and keep those feet flexed. So it's almost as if the toes are pulling to you as the heels are pushing away. That way we can get a little bit deeper into the Achilles tendon. One thing to consider is if you're having difficulty lifting your legs, remembering to start where you're at. And with time, the strength will build and you'll be able to lift them higher and higher. Make sure you continue to breathe. And I find it best if you gaze towards your feet to build that mind-body connection. Keep on breathing. Let's do one more on each leg. That's one and two. Then both feet come down. We're going to come into our alternate leg lifts, pulling the tummy in. We're going to lift up that right leg and bring it down towards the floor. Pushing into the right foot, we pick up the left leg and bring it down to the floor. Back and forth. Keep on breathing. Remembering if at any point you feel fatigued, you can take a break. Rome wasn't built with the day, and neither will your yoga practice. But with time and patience, this is all going to become easy. I like to have my hands on my thighs so I can really feel those quad muscles getting stronger. Keep on breathing. Just a couple more on each leg. See if you can get those knees up just a little bit higher. 
One more on each leg. One and two. Perfect. Soles of the feet come onto the floor. Shoulders back. Heart centers lift. Lift up your heels. Lift up your toes. Heels up. Toes up. Heels up. Toes up. Going back and forth on the soles of the feet. Keep pulling your belly in. Keep sitting up as tall as you can. Opening up that Achilles tendon is said to get rid of a lot of the toxins that lead to colds and flus. Mobility of the ankles is going to help us walking around, going on our mall marathons, or having a little bit more stability when it gets icy outside. Now let's bring the entire sole of the foot onto the floor. Pushing the toe mounds into the floor, we just lift just the toes, just the toes, just the toes. And if you're not familiar, this is our toe mound. So the whole sole of the foot pushes into the floor and the only thing that moves is the toes. So this part of your foot stays on the floor. Toes up, toes up, toes up. Often when we first start to work with our feet, we can get a little bit of cramping. Don't worry about that. That will pass taking any breaks you need to. It's so rare that we exercise our feet that when we start to exercise them, they're kind of like, whoa, what's up? And then letting the toes come onto the floor completely, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back. Remembering you can take breaks whenever you need to. Let's push the sole of the left foot into the floor to lift that right leg as high as we can. And we're just going to come into ankle circles here. Once again, looking towards your foot, building that mind-body connection. Over time, if we don't use parts of our body, they start to not want to move. That old saying, move it or lose it, kind of like a car that gets parked too long and then has a hard time starting. Be patient. Keep working it and eventually full mobility can come back. Let's change directions with our ankle circles. Keep on breathing. And again, if you have to do it a little lower to the ground, that's fine. If you have to do the movement with your foot completely on the ground, that's fine. Do what you can. Stopping with those ankle circles, let's bring that right foot onto the floor, sitting up tall, shoulders back, belly pulls in, right foot pushes down, we lift that left leg up. And again, slow controlled ankle circles, gazing towards that foot and looking for your maximum range of motion. Sometimes when we go too fast and too small, we don't actually get the benefit of the stretch or the strengthening. If you're fatiguing, take a break or lower your leg a little bit. Like I said, you can even do this with your foot on the floor, getting benefits the entire time. Let's change directions with the ankle circles. Feel those legs getting stronger by the breath. And then stopping with the ankle circles, let that left foot come down. Nice big inhale to sit up tall. Let's take three big huge breaths. The deeper you breathe, the better you feel. When you're ready, pushing the left foot into the floor, let's pick that right leg up. Flex and point, flex and point. Back and forth. 
Once again, you can do this with your heel on the floor or only slightly lifting the leg. One day you want to try and get that ankle up as high as that knee. Push those sit bones down and lift the crown of your head up towards the sky, lengthening your spine the entire time. And that right foot comes down, pushing the right foot into the floor. Let's bring that left leg up. Flex and point. Keep on breathing. And then when you're ready, flexing that foot, allowing it to come to the floor. Nice big inhale to sit up tall, shoulders back. Let's take it into the hips to get a little bit of a release there. Let's walk our feet apart nice and slow, heel toe, heel toe. We want to definitely make sure that our ankles are directly below our knees. So we don't want to look like this and we don't want to look like that. We want to have the shins perfectly straight and the knees directly above those ankles. That's what we call in yoga, stacking the joints. Shoulders back, heart center lifts, hands are on those thighs. Now really think about pushing those feet into the floor and let's exhale to come down nice and slow. Listening to your body, only going as far as you need to go today. If it's available, you can always bring your elbows onto your shins. I like to have my fingertips touching pulling my belly in and as I push my feet into the floor I just see if I can come just a smidgen deeper. Nice deep full breaths here. If you're familiar with the belly breath feel free to use that here. As you inhale belly expands and as you exhale think about drawing the belly towards the navel. Let's take two more breaths. And then when you're ready, you've got to really push those feet down to activate the legs. Push into your hands to bring it up with a nice slow inhale. And let's walk those feet back into center so that the ankles are directly below the knees. Shoulders are back, heart center lifts. Let's do a little bit more back releasing. Hands are on the thighs and with a nice big inhale, lift your chest, shoulders back. Exhale to come forward, supporting yourself with your hands on your thighs. Nice inhale to push yourself up, pulling the belly in, and exhaling to come forward once again. Pushing your feet and your hands down, nice big inhale to come up, and exhaling to go down, nice and slow. Let's do four more. And exhaling to come down on that fourth one and we're gonna hold down as low as you can go. Some of us may be able to get right down to those thighs, some of us may be most comfortable sitting almost straight up. But let's start to breathe into that belly again if we're familiar. As we inhale the belly is gonna fill like a balloon and as we exhale we pull the belly button back. Big inhale belly fills, exhale pull the belly back. Two more big breaths. And then pushing your hands and your feet into the floor. Nice inhale to come all the way up. Shoulders back, heart center lifts. Let's take it once again a little deeper into our hips. Sometimes we got to come forward on the seat a little bit, walking the feet forward so that again the knees are directly above the ankles. 
As we push the left foot into the floor, we're going to pick that right leg up, interlacing our fingers, hands outside the right shin. One option is just to lift that shin towards you, drawing the knee towards you. Another option, if you want to make it a little more challenging, is to curl the spine and think about bringing the forehead down towards the knee. Some of us may even be able to touch the knee. And then with a nice big inhale, sitting up nice and tall, let's exhale to lift the other thigh. Interlacing your fingers, this time left thumb, left index on top, hand outside the shin, drawing that thigh to you. And if it's appropriate, exhaling to curl the spine and bringing the forehead towards the knee. Nice big inhale, sit up nice and tall, keep on breathing throughout the practice, bringing the opposite leg up with an exhale. Inhaling to sit up nice and tall, exhaling, other knee coming up. Inhaling up, exhaling to curl. Inhaling up, exhaling to curl. And remembering, you can go as slowly as you like. You can do one or two, or you can go even faster than me. Whatever works for you. One more each leg. And on this next one, let's try and hold it for a while. Right leg lifts, push into both feet, and you can stay here, or again, if it's appropriate, you can curl your spine to hold. Everybody's breathing. Nice inhale to sit up nice and tall, shoulders back, heart center lifts, other leg comes up, left leg, interlace your fingers, left thumb, left index on top, hand outside the shin, holding here if that's comfortable, and if you want to go even deeper into the stretch, you're going to curl your spine and think about bringing the crown of your head or your forehead towards your knee. Make sure you're breathing and push into the sole of that right foot to make it a little bit easier. And when you're ready, releasing your fingers, letting that left foot come down, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back, heart center lifts. So this next pose we're going to throw in there for you chair yoga experts, okay? So only doing this pose if it feels good for you. Paying a lot of attention to your knees and your hips. You don't want to do too much, okay? So if it's available for you and you want to take it to sort of a more advanced chair yoga stage, we're going to hold on to that right knee as we lift it up. We're going to remember that the knee is a hinge and it only moves one way, but the hip is ideally a ball and socket, so it rotates many different directions. Holding on to the knee, let's rotate at the hip and let's just see about placing that right ankle on that left knee. If that's comfortable, you can slowly let that knee go as you sit up nice and tall, shoulders back, keeping that right foot active like you're pushing it into the floor, pushing your left foot into the floor, shoulders back, again listening to that hip. Do you want to take it deeper? And if it's available and safe to take it deeper, slowly drawing the belly in as you lower down over the leg. Some of you super bendy people might be able to come all the way down, but really paying attention to your knees. We don't want to feel this in the knees at all. Shoulders back, breathe deeply into this pose. And then when you're ready, nice inhale to come up, supporting that knee with your hand, pivoting at the hip, we're going to bring that right foot down to the floor. Nice big inhale, lift the chest, shoulders back, again paying attention to your body, one hip's going to be tighter than the other, so not expecting one hip to do what the other one did. 
Lifting up that left foot, left hand to left knee. See if you can bring that left ankle up onto the right knee. And some of us might look like this and we wouldn't want to go any further, but if it's available to let that knee come down, maybe you don't even need to support it anymore. Pushing into the sole of that left foot, pushing into the sole of that right foot, pull your tummy in. And if it's comfortable here, you can take a nice big inhale and exhale to come down, trying to maintain a nice straight back. Beautiful breath. Remembering that sitting up tall is always an option too. Remembering that not doing it this pose at all is also an option. When you're ready, we're going to take a nice big inhale to come up, using the left hand to support that knee, pivoting at the hip as we bring that left foot down to the floor. Hands on the thighs, nice inhale to lift the chest, shoulders back. Let's just do one last shoulder release before we call it quits on this series. When you're ready, let's inhale to lift those shoulders up by the ears, and then out through the mouth. <sighs> Two more, just like that. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Shoulders back, heart center lifts. If you're in a chair, push your feet into the floor. Imagine you were just about to come up into a standing position. Bellies pull in. We're going to extend that right arm out past the knees, squeezing the fingers together. And with a nice inhale, we're going to bring that right arm up. We're going to exhale to bring it down. With an inhalation, we push the feet down to bring it up and we exhale to bring it down. Trying to have the arm as straight as is possible, trying to have the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder in a straight line. And again, if you can only lift your arm up part of the way, do what you can. Next thing you know, it's gonna get higher and higher and higher. Keep on breathing. Ideally, you wanna time the movement with the breath, but if you need to take more than one breath, do that. As we exhale, we bring the arm down, and as we inhale, we lift the arm up. Watching that the torso is not moving, we want to try and keep it nice and still by pulling our tummies in. Let's do two more on that arm. And exhaling to bring that right arm down. Let's straighten out the left arm, squeezing the fingers to one another. Nice inhale to bring that arm up. And exhale to bring that arm down. Taking more than one breath if necessary. Sitting up nice and tall. I like to think about my sit bones pushing down into my chair as the crown of my head reaches up towards the ceiling. Big, beautiful breath. Let's do two more on this side. And exhaling to bring that arm down, let's flip the palm, shoulders back, heart center lift, sitting up nice and tall. Let's work with just the right shoulder, inhaling it up, exhaling it down. Inhaling it up, exhaling it down. Letting that right shoulder relax, let's move over to the left shoulder. Inhale up, exhale down. Belly pulls in, feet push down into the floor.
Good work. Let both shoulders relax and slide back. Let's flip our palms and extend those arms out past the knees. Remembering, if dual arm lifts is too much for you, you can stick with the single arm lifts, just lifting one arm at a time. Feet push down, belly pulls in. Nice inhale to bring the arms up, following the hands with your gaze. So looking up if that's comfortable, but not letting your head go back, especially if you're 60 plus. Exhaling to bring your arms down as if you were pulling those arms out of the shoulder sockets. And as you push into those feet, nice inhale to bring those arms up, pulling them out of the shoulders. And exhaling to bring those arms down. Beautiful. Inhaling, arms up. And exhaling, arms down. Squeezing your fingers. Working with your breath. Your body needs oxygen for every single thing it does. So really allowing yourself to draw in exactly what you need. Tons of fresh oxygen. Keeping in mind, it's free. Let's do three more. On this third one, we're gonna inhale to bring those arms up as high as we can. We're gonna keep them up, and then we're gonna imagine we're picking cherries off a very tall tree. Picking, picking, picking cherries. Beautiful breath. If you're fatiguing, lower those arms and bend those elbows. That'll make it a little bit easier. If you wanna get your butt kicked, straighten those arms out and extend as much as you like. That'll make it more challenging. Keep on breathing. Good work. Just a couple more cherries to go. And let those arms come down. Perfect. Palms up, shoulders back so those shoulders can truly relax. Let's just let the right ear come down towards the right shoulder. Left elbow reaches towards the floor. Nice smooth inhale to bring the chin back up to center and exhale to let the opposite ear come down. Inhale, chin coming up to center. Exhaling, let's turn and look over one shoulder. And back to center. Let's slowly turn and look over the other shoulder. And back to center. Nice work. Let's flip the palms, let's extend those arms out in front of us, and with an inhalation, let's bring those arms up so those wrists are level with the shoulders. Feel like you're pulling those arms out of the shoulder socket as the head and the shoulders push back. Feet push down, bellies pull in. Inhale to extend the fingers, exhale to squeeze nice and tight. Nice big inhale, stretch those fingers, exhale to squeeze. Keep on breathing. If this is challenging and those shoulders are getting tired, bend those elbows a little bit. That'll make it easier, but only if you need to. Remember, we're here to strengthen. So if it's at all possible, straighten out those arms and keep those wrists with those shoulders. If you want more of a stretch through those thumbs, tuck the thumbs on the inside of the palms. Thinking of all the things your hands do and how much independence they bring into your life. Little things like doing up your own shoes, your own buttons, remote controls, knitting needles, all require movement of those fingers. Exhale to squeeze nice and tight. Keep on squeezing. Let's do slow controlled wrist circles. Remembering that this routine is something that we can build up to. So if we're fatiguing at any point, take a rest and join back in when you feel like you've got more strength. Change directions with your wrist circles. Keep on breathing. 
looking for maximum rotation, not slow, small circles, but big, slow circles. And then stopping with those circles, let's let those arms come down, palms up, shoulders back. Once again, sitting up nice and tall. Take a few deep breaths here into your shoulders. Good stuff. Let's extend those arms out past the knees, squeeze those fingers together. Let's once again bring those arms up level with the shoulders, reaching the fingers forward as the head and the shoulders push back. Spread your fingers. Let's inhale to flip the palms up. It's like I'm pushing my hands away from me, but I'm pulling my fingers to me. Let's exhale to flip the palms the other way. Wrists push away, fingers draw to me. Inhale to flip up, exhale to flip down, back and forth with your breath. Remembering if you're tiring, you can bend those elbows, but don't shortchange yourself. If you've got the strength, keep those arms straight and the wrists level with the shoulders. Keep on breathing. Belly button is always pulling in. Feet are always pushing down. May as well get more bang for your buck by strengthening those legs while we're here. Next time we flip the palms up, let's draw the backs of the hands and the fingers to us as we push the palms and the wrists away. And let's wave towards me, back and forth like windshield wipers. Keep on breathing. Harder than it looks, isn't it? Even for me, after all these years, still getting the benefits of these poses. And stopping in center, flipping the palms to you, fingers to you, wrists away, and back and forth, waving at yourself. Keep on breathing. Bend those elbows only if you need to. Good work. Let's let those hands come down, palms up, shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take three more big breaths. When you're ready, once again, extend those fingers out past the knees, squeezing the fingers together. Nice inhale to bring those arms up, wrists are level with the shoulders. Feel like you're pulling the fingers forward. Spread the fingers, squeeze them tight. Spread those fingers, squeeze them tight. Squeeze them tight, keep on squeezing, keep the arms level, point the fingers out, point those fingers in. Point them out, point them in. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how young you are, even the most advanced yogis have to keep their wrists in shape. Very common to get a little clicking and clacking. Reach those fingers a little bit further away from you to get rid of that noise eventually creating space in the joint. Stopping with the fingers in center, let's roll those fingers in and let's roll those fingers out. Roll them in and roll them out. Keep on breathing. Sometimes to get a little bit more of a workout with those legs, push into your toe mounds and lift your toes up. Let's do three more. You're almost there. And let those arms come down, palms up, shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall, taking a few deep breaths here. Hands coming into Namaskara or prayer position, fingertips and palms push into one another. 
So ideally you want the entire palm touching and if it's comfortable for you to lower the wrists so the wrists are level with the elbows, that's great. But if those palms are coming apart, better to bring those hands up. Shoulders melt away from the ears, elbows reach forward and we're just going to exhale to push our elbows to that left side. Watching that we're not allowing that elbow to come back or the body to twist, but think about keeping both elbows equally far forward and sliding it over to the side. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath, focus on the stretch. Hands coming back to center and let's slowly bring those elbows over to the other side. Relax the shoulders, push into the fingertips, push into the circumference of the palms. Everybody's breathing. Close your eyes and once again enjoy that sweet sensation of the stretch. Let's repeat that one more time. Hands come back to center and over. Hands come back to center and over. Hands come back to center. Let's flip the hands so that the backs of the hands are touching and let's make slow circles with those wrists. I like to imagine I'm reaching my fingers away from me to get a little bit more activity or stretch into my hands. If that's really challenging, you can always do wrist circles without the hands touching. Sometimes that's easier to wrap our brains around to start with. And changing directions with the wrist circles. Keep on breathing. And then when you're ready, let's release those hands down, palms up, shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes, take a few more deep breaths. After all that heavy duty shoulder work, let's do a couple things to release it before we call it quits. So ideally we want to go for a nice gentle twist, keeping our legs as they are, keeping our seat pushing down into the floor, we pull our belly in. Let's take that right arm behind us, let's take that left hand outside the right leg. Nice big inhale, lift the chest and exhale to twist, gazing behind you. Think about the belly pulling in, think about the shoulders working down and see if you can reach with those elbows. Big, beautiful breaths here. And unwinding back to center, let's take that left arm behind us. Let's take that right arm outside the left leg. Nice big inhale, lift your chest, shoulders down, push into your feet and your seat as we exhale to twist and turn the gaze. Reaching the elbows away from you and just leaning your head back a little bit. Once again, big beautiful breaths. And unwinding back to center slowly, keeping all that beautiful space we created in our spine and our shoulders. Let's flip the palms up, shoulders back. One last little shoulder release before we call it a day. Let's inhale to lift our shoulders up by our ears. And out through the mouth. Two more, just like that. Beautiful. So now begins a chair sun salutation. Feet are hips distance apart, ankles, knees and hips in a nice straight line. Sit bones are pushing down into the floor, shoulders relax back and as we push those sit bones down think about reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. 
We're gonna start by warming up the shoulders. So with a nice big inhale, let's bring those arms up, palms touching, pushing into those palms as we exhale to slowly bring those hands down through the heart. Nice big inhale, arms coming up, palms touch. Exhale to push into your hands as we bring them down through the heart center. Inhaling and exhaling. trying to make your breath as big and full as you can. And on the exhalation, think about pushing out as much stale carbon dioxide as you can, making more room for plenty of oxygen. Let's do three more. Exhaling hands coming down through the heart. Let's bring our hands onto our thighs, really pulling our tummies in as we push our feet into the floor. Nice big inhale. And as we exhale to forward fold, keeping the spine nice and straight, coming down as low as we can, and then seeing if we might be able to walk those fingers down towards the toes. If it's comfortable for you to do so, let the head be slightly heavy and allow it to hang, deepening the stretch through the neck and the back. Pushing into your feet. When you're ready, press into those feet. Nice smooth inhale to walk those fingers up the legs. If you need to have your hands on your thighs to push yourself up, feel free to do so. Shoulders back, heart center lifts. If that's comfortable for you, we're gonna to start to add a little bit more of a challenge here. Nice big inhale, bringing the arms up, palms touch. Push into your hands as we exhale to drop the hands down through the heart. Hands come onto the thighs, nice big inhale, pull your belly in, exhaling to fold down over those legs. Hands on the thighs to support you, let your head hang. Pushing down into those thighs, nice inhale to come all the way up. Shoulders back, heart center lifts. Again, big inhale, arms coming up, palms touch. Exhale to push into your hands as we drop them down through the heart. Hands coming onto the thighs, pull your tummies in, push into your feet. Exhale to forward fold, nice and slow. When you arrive, you can let your head hang a little bit if that's comfortable. Pushing down into those feet, nice inhale to come up, straight spine. Exhale, shoulders down. And again, inhaling, arms coming up, palms touching. Exhaling to push into your hands as we drop them down through the heart. Hands on the thighs, heart center lifts, shoulders back. Let's exhale to forward fold, nice and slow. Using the hands to support your body and letting the head go. Nice big inhale to come up. Shoulders back, heart center lifts. With our next inhale, bringing those arms up, palms touch, exhaling to push into the hands. Hands coming to the thighs, belly in. If it's available, you can start to walk those fingers right down to those toes, letting your heads hang. When you're ready, nice inhale, walking those fingers back up, shoulders back, heart center lifts. And again, when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling to lengthen, big slow exhale to come down. Push into those feet, nice big inhale, lifting up all the way. Exhale, and again, inhaling, fill your lungs up. Exhale to empty those lungs. Hands on the thighs, belly in, exhaling to fold, keeping a nice straight spine. And inhaling to push yourself all the way up, shoulders back. Heart center lifts, one more round. Inhaling, arms coming up, palms touch. Pushing into those hands as we exhale to drop them down through the heart. Big inhale to lengthen, belly in. Exhaling to forward fold. Pushing into those feet, nice big inhale to come all the way up. Shoulders back, heart center lifts. Keep repeating if you like. Great way to open up the shoulders, spine, and hips.